Public buildings can have multiple meanings. Take the Virginia State Capitol in Richmond, for example. The classical Roman temple structure, built in 1785, seems to symbolize power, history, and republicanism. The Capitol is home to the Virginia General Assembly, the oldest representative body in the Western Hemisphere. But what kind of representative body? Gazing past the huge white columns into the heart of the building, we see a story about race, with episodes of tragedy and triumph. Thomas Jefferson, the building's designer, was a revered statesman, defender of individual rights, and of course, a slave owner. Here, in 1861, Virginians voted to secede from the Union, and during the Civil War, the building became the capital of the Confederacy. Reconstruction brought over 90 African-American representatives to the capital. For decades thereafter, however, it was a source of white supremacy and Jim Crow laws. Ultimately, in 1990, L. Douglas Wilder, the nation's first elected African-American governor and the grandson of slaves, took the oath of office and delivered an inaugural address on the Capitol steps. Today, the Capitol comes to life for University of Richmond students who intern for delegates and senators. The students observed a complex mix of partisanship and camaraderie, conflict and consensus, ambition and public service that characterize freely elected and diverse legislatures. They also interact with leaders like Senator Jennifer McClellan and Speaker of the House Bill Howell, both graduates of the University of Richmond. So to me, a teacher, a legislative scholar, and a citizen, the Virginia State Capitol is something to see and to experience.